think that like people with special needs tend not to be the types of people who are the subject of portraiture so I thought that would be a good thing to do. I just still think it's an important part of the process getting to know people and getting to interact with them. I I feel a little bit nervous and anxious. Nervous and n shy. Uh, nervous. Excited. Never nervous. I was a bit nervous because I was at a new place. I give myself a haircut. That's why I'd be gorgeous. My name is Siobhan Cleary, I'm working with the Daughters of Charity Disability Support Services and I'm involved in a project in the Institute of Technology in Blanchestown with six learners from the Daughters of Charity Service. My learners from the Daughters of Charity Service are integrated with the students in the Institute of Technology here in Blanchardstown. And they're included in classes with creative studies students, with horticulture students and with sports students. Creative studies, the students learn how to work with people that might have a disadvantage and that would be like doing artwork, doing pottery, doing tasks that would enable them to talk to people who might have difficulty. The Learning Together programme um, started as a pilot project in 2009 and became a full project in January 2011 and we've been running it since then. You're in the country, Lee. The country's home, eh? Come on, Denise's care isn't here. The six learners that I have at the moment uh, all had their portraits done down in Carlo. I brought them down two at a time, three successive weeks to have their portrait done. There was great excitement about it because uh, none of them had ever had their portrait done before and they loved it and they loved their day there and the excitement and the build up to it. I felt over the moon getting this done. This makes me look famous. You see my face and all, my nose, my lip, and my eyebrows and my glasses. Little... I'm Jim Donnelly. I'm a, a, an artist. My wife Denise works in ITB and she told me about these classes where people with special needs are working with regular students. I just thought it was a fantastic scheme. I thought that maybe portraits of them would be a good way of publicising the course and what, what's been achieved. only maybe one particular second that captures the actual personality, the glint in the eye, the uh, smile, the, the personality of the person. So with portraiture like this, like you're, you're working from life, you're constantly talking to the person and your experience of the person, so you're, you're trying to decide what part of the personality you're going to capture. On the 28th of this month, the 28th of April, we're going down to Carlo to see the finished portraits and all the learners are going, their parents will go, some other family members will go as well, just to see what's happened. The learners themselves are going to talk about what it was like to have their painting done and how it made them feel.
My name is Dr Denise Lyons. I'm a lecturer in the Institute of Technology Blanchardstown and I teach on social care and creative studies modules. I was bringing like, the joy that I was having in the classroom home to my husband Jim who's an artist. He was seeing it in my face how much I was really enjoying the project and how this was quite an innovative um, piece of work that we were doing here and that we hadn't really promoted it or talked to people about you know, the importance of it. In collaboration with the Daughters of Charity Service, we decided to hold an exhibition in the studio in Carlo and to invite the family and friends of our six learners who had their portraits done so that they could invite people to see the work that they've been involved in. And also, it was, it was an exhibition of the work that Jim has done, but it was also a celebration of the project in itself. We were able to have the exhibition, people walked around, saw the paintings and I think a special part of that for Jim was that he enabled each one of the learners to choose an image that they would like to keep from the exhibition. 